youth runner here uh, with the victorious Mountain Vista girls. First time since 2018, they win the sweepstakes at the Liberty Bell uh, Invitational. All seven women in the top 30, all seven women uh, under 18 minutes. Uh, phenomenal effort overall. We're going to come over here and talk to uh, Juliet uh, just in, in terms of, you know, really showing uh, what the group has continued to do in terms of just progress and, and development and, and whatnot. Like, you know, uh, phenomenal performance, you know, at the, at the two miler, like just how, you know, how significant did you feel like the step was that the group took today? I think really significant. We've all been working really hard and just being really consistent with our training. And so continuing that has really helped us and made us have really good performances at meets. Awesome. Brenna, good to see you up here at the, uh, at, at the elevation. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you're, you're no stranger to like big meets, you're yeah. a, a big, a big energy, yeah. you know, you've, You've, you, you've come out here to be under the lights, you know, at, at Desert Twilight and whatnot. Just what, what did you feel like the energy was today? Like, they, they can all tell you about Liberty Bell. What was the first Liberty Bell like? It was so good. Um, I used to live here freshman year, so I've already ran Liberty Bell, but I think... But was, with a group like this? With a group like this, it was really cool. Like, just seeing, like, green in front of you, like, having your teammates all around you racing, it was so fun. And I thought it was really cool. I mean, obviously, to be able to stay connected, you know, at home, like in a destination two miler is one thing to be able to do it you know on this course is a big indication oh, yeah. of what what happens you know in, in November and December like sure. how much fun was it just to, to continue to, to see the whole group push forward I think it was really cool it gives like a good indication of where our fitness is at like this early in the season um, and I'm just excited to keep building on it awesome great job Claire in, uh, in, in terms of you know, just really focusing on being the best version of Vista right obviously you ladies are very intelligent. You know who's around you. You know you know who's in the race and whatnot. But just, I think the key to a group having all seven in the top 30 and all seven under 18 minutes is just knowing who they are. How proud were you that you know that you you ladies ran to your identity today and didn't run in anybody else's race? I'm really proud of us. I feel like something about Vista too is we know like how we're relying on each other. So if someone's like not feeling it, like we give our all no matter what just because we want to help each other. So I think being a part of Vista and just giving our all is pretty cool. And like I said, I mean, obviously, for all the, uh, the great performances, first time that the group is holding uh, uh, that trophy that you are so proudly doing so since 2018, is this just uh, what you hope is an indication of holding a lot of trophies this year, Claire? Yeah, hopefully. Awesome. Great job. Keegan, obviously, uh, didn't have uh, the, the blessing of seeing you on this course or any other course. I mean, I know that you are always grateful, that you're always appreciative, but just like to be able to be shoulder to shoulder with these women and obviously a huge shout out to Gabby uh, as well. Like just how, how meaningful are days like this or, you know, whether it's Arapaho or whether it's Destination Two Miler and going forward, like how, how profound are days like this for you? It's incredibly meaningful to me. You know, everything that we do, we do it together and good days, bad days and everything in between, we do it together and I wouldn't trade this team for the world. I know how competitive you are. I know how passionate you are. Uh, to be able just to look at them and to have them uplift you because I know the expectation and the standard that you set for yourself like is that is that like the greatest blessing after the race that like you said whether it's your best day or whether it's a learning experience that you can look around and know you have women that love you and, and, and will uplift you you know regardless if it's your best race or you know uh, a challenging race yeah for sure you know there's a lot of pressure that can come with the sport but with my teammates we just do it because we have fun and we do it together and we all love each other and so we do it for each other and that's where all the meaning comes from fantastic great work Zoe thank you again for staying yeah uh, in, ter in, in terms of just you know, how the group has has really gelled right like just you know uh, that I mean there's always chemistry there's always cohesiveness but obviously there's you know there's new energy with Keegan being healthy and yeah. thriving and being in the lineup you know, uh, Brenna thriving and being in the lineup and, uh, and whatnot. How, uh, just how, how great is the energy every single day in practice to then translate to big races like this? I mean, in practice, we all have, like, so much fun. We're all, like, we do everything together. We, like, warm up, everything. It's so fun. And then we all just, like, we're so excited for, like, the rest of the season just to see what happens. Fantastic. Peyton, uh, in, in, in terms of everybody kind of just running to their role, running to their identity, right? Like you don't have to be anything greater than Peyton Adams, you know? She doesn't have to be anything greater than Zoe Brandt. We have the great Gabby Beckman now joining us, you know, uh, joining, like, I mean, just how reassuring is that, right? That like you don't, you, as long as you're the best version of Peyton Adams and everybody else is the best version of themselves, then everything, you know, you know can play out the way you want it. Yeah, I think it's really awesome. I mean, we don't really have pressure to be the best on the team. We all just do it for each other. Um, our coaches do a really good job at just 
telling us to be the best version of ourselves and just try our best and it'll all work out. And speaking of, you know, just you know, really understanding that, like it's only September 14th, right? Like I always say, this group is only going to be as good as its next workout, you know, and the next race after that. Like there, there's a lot of maturity and a lot of, you know, veteran leadership and composure on this group. How important is that when you realize, you know, that the, the destinations are November 2nd, November 23rd, December 7th, and this is only September 14th? Yeah, I think it just gives us just, it really makes us work um, hard every day in practice and not think that anything's going to be handed to us and just, it and reassures us to just keep working hard every single day and no slacking, just giving it our all. Awesome. Thank you so much. Gabby, so appreciative of you being here. To that point, like just the accountability of the group, right? Like just be, you know, being able to challenge every, you know, each other every day in practice, but in a meaningful way, in an uplifting way, in a supportive way. Like uh, how awesome is that? that the, the group you know, can look to their left and look to their right, front and back or whatever, and just, you know, and just want everybody to be the best version of themselves. Um, I think especially in practice it's really important because when we're working out or even when we're doing normal runs we always are together and we like always uplift each other while we're there and you know we're working together which I think makes such a huge difference because then none of us are alone and that way when it comes to race day we also know that none of us are alone because we work so hard together that we just work together as a team all the time. Last thing since you were part of the group that was here last year just seeing the shift in the outcome of this race from last year to this year, I mean, obviously there's a lot more smiles today uh -huh. than there were on September 9th of 2023, but just, does it show how much the group is, has grown but also learned? I think that it's really shown how we've learned that racing should be fun, and we, like, we're in high school, we should be having fun. This is, like, what we do for fun. So I think that that's really shown how we've grown as a team because we've put, I guess we've kind of put more emphasis on just having fun and like giving it our all, giving it our best effort because we know what we're possible, like we're possible of doing and just, I think that's really shown how we've matured and that's really shown how we've grown. Awesome. A lot of fun to watch this today. 73 points, all seven women in the top 30, all seven under 18. Mountain Vista, first sweepstakes championship at Liberty Bell since 2018. Ladies, congrats.